Would you choose to believe the lies of the enemy concerning your life and destiny? Or you will trust what God says about you? When you have a deeper understanding and a proper perspective of who God is, your prayer will be more effective and you will feel more confident to seek Him. While some may find themselves in a difficult situation and remain confident that God is and is able to find them, some grumble, complain and murmur as though they don't have any hope. They forget that God has their best interest at heart, even if the situation does not look like it. I need you to have the kind of confidence that even though you are in a dare situation, your God is bigger and desires to show you mercy because he loves and cares for you. You may be seeing your situation and thinking that they are too big or too complicated while at the same time minimizing the power and hand of God over your life. Don't be guilty of believing that your situations are big and God is small. Don't be prone to giving more weight to what other people say rather than to what God says. In any situation you might be right now, remember you are loved by God. And when you love someone, you show up for them. So be rest assured that God will show up for you. So let's get into the Psalms. According to the word of verse 1, Bow down your ear, O Lord. Hear me, for I am poor and needy. Lord, you have made it known to me that you will supply all my needs, no matter how small. Lord, I am in need. Please show up for me and provide for me. Just like you did to the widow of Zarephath, who had just one last meal to eat with her son and die. Hear my cry, Lord, and come to my aid. I need your provision, Lord. I pray according to the word of verse 2. Preserve my life for I am holy. You are my God. Save your servant who trusts in you. Lord, please preserve my life according to your word. I put my trust in you. My total trust in you. Help me and save me from situations that want to make a mockery of me and your name. According to the word of verse 3, Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I cry to you all day long. Lord, I know you will not hear me when I ever sin inside my heart. Please forgive me, for I cry all day long. Have mercy on me, for in you I find refuge. According to the word of verse 4, Rejoice the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Lord, please cause my soul to rejoice. For you alone do I look up to. Save me from my fears. Save me from anguish. Save me from everything that wants to steal the joy that I have in you. According to the word of verse 5, for you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive and abundant in mercy to all those who call upon you. Lord, I know that you are a good God and you always do good to your children and are always ready to forgive their sins and and receive them back when they go astray please lord be merciful to me when i call on your name don't let me call on you in vain for to you alone do i owe my life I pray according to the word of verse 6. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the voice of my supplications. Lord, I ask that you please give yes to my prayers and attend to the voice of my supplication. Cause me to receive that which I have patiently been waiting for. According to the words of verses 7 and 8, in the middle of my trouble, I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Among the gods, there is none like you, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. Lord, I am in distress. Please answer me and come to my aid, for I know that there's none like you and nothing can be compared to the works of your hands. And when you save, you save completely. I know that I am delivered completely. According to the words of verses 9 and 10, I declare that all nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. According to the word of verse 11, Teach me your way, O Lord. I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. Please, Lord, teach me your ways. I want to walk in the truth of your word. And let your fear and your love be in my heart so that I will not go against your will. I declare the words of verses 12 and 13 and I say, I will praise you, O Lord, my God, with all my heart. And I will glorify your name forevermore. For great is your mercy towards me. And you have delivered my soul from the depths of shell. 
According to verse 14, O oh God, the proud have risen against me and the mob of violent men have sought my life and have not set you before them. Lord, please save me from the hands of proud and violent men who have risen against me. Frustrate their plans, O oh Lord, and let the evil they have devised against me fail. I declare the words of verses 15 and 16. But you, O oh Lord, are God of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in mercy and truth. Oh, turn to me and have mercy on me. Give your strength to me, your servant, and save the son of your maid servant. I pray according to the word of verse 17. Show me a sign for good that those who hate me may say it and be ashamed. Because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. I ask that you will please show me a good sign and let all those who don't mean me well see it and be put to shame. Psalm 27 verse 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? As I reflect on this psalm, I am reminded of the countless times your people called upon you for strength and courage. Like David who faced the giant Goliath with unyielding trust in your deliverance. I too seek the same steadfastness. Lord, instill in me the courage to confront my fears and overcome the hurdles that stand in my way. I invoke the words of Psalm 31 verse 27, which says, Be strong and let your heart take courage. O you who open the Lord in the depths of my soul, I cry out to you, O Lord, for I am weary and burdened. The challenges of life weigh heavily upon me, and I long for your divine presence to uplift my spirit. Grant me the fortitude to face every obstacle with unwavering in faith, knowing that you are by my side, leading me on the path of righteousness. Psalm 46 verses 1 to 3. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we won't be afraid, though the earth changes, though the mountains are shaken into the heart of the seas, though its waters roar and are troubled. Though the mountains tremble with their swelling, you are the rock of ages, the fortress where I find refuge. As the storms of life rage around me, I seek solace in your sheltering arms. Shield me from the arrows of doubt and fear and fortify my spirit with the certainty of your unwavering love. In your presence, I find comfort and assurance, knowing that your strength is made perfect in my weakness. I speak Psalm 29 verse 11. The Lord will give strength to his people. The the Lord will bless his people with peace. When the waves of despair threaten to engulf me, I turn to you, O God, for you are my anchor amidst the tempest. Give me the resilience to weather the storms of life, knowing that your hand is upon me, guiding me through the turbulent waters. Help me to remember that trials are but stepping stones to greater heights and that through adversity your strength is made manifest i also declare psalm 23 verse 4 even though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for you are with me your road and your staff they comfort me in the midst of my troubles lord remind me that i am never alone you're with me guiding me and providing for me your love surrounds me like a shield and your presence fills me with peace and assurance with you by my side i can face any challenge overcome any obstacle and emerge victorious grant me the wisdom to discern your will in every circumstance and the courage to follow where you lead let your word be a lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path, illuminating the way forward when darkness surrounds me. Strengthen my resolve to walk in righteousness, even when the world entices me to stray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand on Psalm 28 verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart has trusted in Him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices. With my song, I will thank Him. In moments of doubt, remind me of your promises for your word never returns void fill my heart with unwavering faith knowing that with you all things are possible help me to trust in your timing even when the world urges me to rush or give up grant me the patience and endurance knowing that you're working all things together for my good psalm 137 verse 3 and the day that i called you answered me you 
encourage me with strength in my soul. In your presence, O oh God, I find strength and courage beyond measure. Grant me the grace to draw near to you daily, to seek your face and to abide in your love as I rest in your embrace. Renew my strength and embolden my heart. Let my life be a living psalm of praise, declaring your goodness and grace to all who encounter me. Psalm 118 verse 14, the Lord is my strength and song. He has become my salvation. Lord, when I falter and my strength wanes, breathe new life into my weary bones. Infuse me with your divine energy and vitality that I may soar on wings like eagles. Empower me to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint as I strive to fulfill your purpose in my life. Psalm 28 verse 8 The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart has trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices with my song. I will thank him. The Lord is their strength. He is a stronghold of salvation to his anointed. I offer this prayer with a grateful heart, knowing that you hear and answer the cries of your children. Thank you, Lord, for your enduring love and unwavering faithfulness. In you, I find the strength and courage I so desperately seek. Psalm 34 verse 4, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Lord, as I face the challenges that lie ahead, I pray for the strength to persevere and the courage to stand firm. Let your Holy Spirit empower me to be a beacon of hope and encouragement to others so that they too may find solace in your unfailing love. Use my life as a testament to your faithfulness that all who encounter me may witness your transformative power. Psalm 18 verse 1 The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer, my God my rock in whom I take refuge my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower in the depths of my soul I long for your strength and courage to sustain me through the trials and challenges of life Lord you are my refuge and my fortress the one in whom I find my true strength Psalm 112 verse 7 He will not be afraid of evil news His heart is steadfast trusting in the Lord I lift up my voice to you O Lord with praise and thanksgiving You are my rock my fortress and my deliverer You are my strength and my courage I place my trust in you knowing that you will never fail me Help me to walk in your ways to follow your commandments and to live a life that brings brings honor and glory to your name. Thank you, Lord, because your words will not return to you void, but shall accomplish all that has been said and prosper therein. I am confident that we shall see the manifestations of these declarations and prayers. Heavenly Father, I pray for your mercy for I am weak. My sorrow has left me physically and spiritually in agony. Give me strength to not give up. I know you have heard my cries and seen my tears. I know you will answer my prayers. Psalm 18 verses 28. You, O oh Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. O oh God, my Father, I am surrounded by the darkness of death and grief. I am unsure of my steps. The path is hidden and unknown. The journey seems endless. But you have promised to be a lamp for my feet, a light for my path. Give me the strength to keep my lamp burning. Turn my darkness into light. Today, tomorrow, to the end of age. Psalm 25 verses 15 to 17. My eyes are ever on the Lord for only he will release my feet from the snare. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. The troubles of my heart have multiplied. Free me from my anguish. O oh, gracious God, the pain in my heart multiplies each day as I try to cope with my loss. I feel alone and burdened. No one understands. At times it seems as if no one cares. Help me to keep my eyes focused on you. Only you can release me from this prison of grief. Only you can free me from the chains of mourning. Grant my heart peace. 
Psalm 31 verse 22, For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you hear the voice of my supplications when I cried out to you. O oh Lord, my grief consumes both my night and my day. There are times that I feel cut off, separated even from you. But you're always there for me. Only you can understand the depths of what I'm feeling. Give me strength for this day. Psalm 32 verse 7 says, You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. Heavenly Father, I come to you as the place I can hide. Everywhere I go are people who remind me of my loss. Places that bring back memories events that should bring joy but instead bring loss and grief let me truly find rest in you psalm 34 verse 19 a righteous man may have many troubles but the lord delivers him from them all O oh God, our Creator, I am burdened with sorrow and trouble. Death is a relentless enemy. I feel the sting of grief every moment of every day. You have promised to deliver me from trouble. Be present in my dark times. Deliver me, I pray. Psalm 41 verse 1 Blessed is he who has regard for the weak. The Lord delivers him in times of trouble. Merciful Lord, I am weak, but you are strong. I am burdened with grief. My heart is heavy. My spirit is crushed. Be my strength in times of weakness. Be my shelter from the storm. Deliver me from my troubles. Psalm 44 verses 25 to 26. For our soul is bowed down to the dust. Our body clings to the ground. Arise for our help and redeem us for your mercy's sake. Our most gracious Lord, life has beaten me down today. Lift me to see you in moments of my day. Let me feel your presence in my pain. Living God, grief and loss have left my soul parched and thirsty for your presence. Help me to always know you are here. Let me remember your faithfulness as you were to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Be so to me. Psalm 46 verses 1 to 2 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Great and wonderful God, thank you for being my refuge and my strength, my shelter in this terrible storm. You are present. I rely on your strength. I need your peace. Psalm 62 verses 5 to 8 Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in Him at all times, O people. Pour out your hearts to Him. For God is our refuge. Heavenly Father, help my soul to find rest. The loss of a loved one has left me troubled, shaken, and confused. Be my rock and my refuge. Provide for me a fortress that cannot be shaken. Help me to know that you will save me from the uncertainty and pain. Let me find hope in you, a man. Lord, I pray that your presence surrounds me, bringing comfort and reassurance. When I lie down to sleep, grant me peaceful rest. Free me from the turmoil of grief. Let me dwell in the safety of your love and care. Father, you are close to the broken hearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. In this moment of deep pain, I hold on to your promise that you are near. Pour out your love upon me and help me to feel your comfort and presence. I also lift up my family and friends who are grieving. Surround us with your love and peace. Help us to support one another and to find strength in each other and in you. Guide my thoughts, Lord, and keep me from being overwhelmed by sorrow. Help me to remember the precious moments and the love shared. Bring to my mind the hope and promise of eternal life and let that hope bring comfort to my soul father 
I ask for the grace to endure this difficult time. Help me to trust in your plan even when I don't understand it. Fill me with your peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding, and let it guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Lord, you are not just a good father, but also a great shepherd. And as a great shepherd leads his sheep to peaceful pastures and quiet waters, so will you do to my spirit every time I want to lay down. In you, I know that I will find rest and my spirit will be renewed even as I close my eyes to sleep. Nothing shall take away my sleep and peace of mind. I am safe and secure in your arms. According to the word of Psalm 121 verses 3 to 4, he will not let your foot sleep. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Lord, in the darkest hours of the night, when I am most vulnerable and weak, I am assured that you are always watching over me, staying vigilant so that no harm will come to me. I thank you because you neither slumber nor sleep just to keep me safe. Your word shall never break, neither will you alter that which has proceeded from your mouth concerning me according to the word of psalm 91 verses 1 to 2 whoever dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest in the shadow of the almighty i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in whom i trust he will cover you with his feathers and under his feathers you will find a refuge. His faithfulness shall be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day. Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress. Like a protective parent, like a mother hen protecting her chicks, you cover me under your feathers, shielding us from all attacks of the enemy and the terrors of the night. I don't have to be afraid because I am perpetually dwelling in your shadow. According to the word of Psalm 3 verses 5 to 6, I lie down and sleep and I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear though ten thousands assail me on every side. I certainly will not be afraid of tens of thousands of people who gang up against me when I am asleep at night because you, my father, sustain me with your mighty hands. According to the word of Psalm 16 verses 7 to 8, I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord with him at my right hand. I will not be shaken. I will keep my eyes on you always because with you at my right hand, I will not be shaken even when I am asleep. Your counsel will remain with me. According to the word of Psalm 139 verses 11 and 12, if I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day for darkness is as light to you. Lord, this psalm fills me with the hope and assurance that there's nothing that happens in the dark that you don't know about. So even when the enemy tries to hide in the dark to harm me at night, you see it and you will rescue me. According to the word of Psalm 127 verse 2, In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat as a grand sleep to those who he loves. Lord, toiling and hard work can sometimes hinder me from sleeping, but you have made it clear that those you love, you will certainly grant sleep because I know you love me. Psalm 46 verse 10, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted amongst the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. You have told me to be still and know that you are God. I release my burdens and anxieties to you. Please be exalted above all these and lead me to a peaceful sleep. Psalm 121 verses 5 to 8, The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Lord, you have promised to be my shade at my right hand. And I know that both during the day and at night, you are always watching over me. I don't have to be afraid of whatever has been programmed to the moon and to the sun to harm me. Psalm 91 verses 14 to 16 Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Lord, I call on you. 
please deliver and satisfy my weary soul. Please protect me even as I lay down to sleep. And every time I call upon you, whether during the day or late at night, Lord, please answer me. According to the word of Psalm 62 verses 1 to 2, 5 to 8, truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. Yes, my soul finds rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge trust in him at all times you people pour out your hearts to him for god is our refuge lord with you by my side i know i will find rest for my soul as i close my eyes help me to trust in you that you will see me through the night and i will wake up refreshed and restored all these i have prayed in jesus mighty name I command your bones, tissues, organs, and systems to come into alignment with God's original design for you. Receive the Creator's thought over your frame. He formed you wonderfully and knows how to realign anything I miss. I call forth the revival of life to flow through you from head to toe right now. Where there was weakness, catastrophe, or deterioration, I declare newness of life by the Holy Spirit. He makes all things new, so I say, cells regenerate inflammation subsides nerves reconnect and fibers mend under heaven's healing rays be made whole I declare by faith that you are already healed by the stripes Jesus took upon his back according to 1 Peter 2 verse 24 that includes every emotional spiritual and physical wound you carry Christ bore your sickness so you can bear his healing I call for the manifestation into the nature of what he finished at the cross health and wholeness permit you now from crown to soul I decree the words of Psalm 103 over your life who forgives all your iniquity who heals all your diseases who redeems your life from the pit who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy every condition stemming from generational curses personal sin and trauma is cleansed by the blood of Jesus I declare your body healed and delivered I command all infections and infirmities to leave your body now in Jesus name receive supernatural antibiotics attacking every virus and harmful bacteria according to Luke 13 verse 12 crippled hands are released restored vision and hearing every missing limb will be replaced as you continue to seek the Lord in faith I call forth divine restoration of robbed health and lost years what the enemy meant to destroy through affliction will become testament of God's goodness. The Lord balances every scale, tilting favor and blessing your way. As with Job, he will bless your latter days even more than your former. Receive abundantly above all that you can ask or imagine. I declare that through faith and patience, you will inherit every promise of God. Do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. Persevere in prayer and stand on his word. Though healing takes time, his spirit brings comfort, hope and strength for the journey. It will bring it to pass right on schedule. I decree divine connections leading you to people to bring breakthroughs, whether supernatural healing or practical help through medicine and physicians. Receive it. Let no pride or false doctrine block what God wants to do. His methods are infinite. His healing often gradual. Hold fast to his hand through the process. Wellness awaits. I command all genetic weaknesses that empower sickness to bow to the name of Jesus reversed by his healing blood Jesus bore our sicknesses and carried our pains so we can walk in divine health and wholeness by his stripes you will be made whole spirit soul and body I call forth inner healing and deliverance from trauma abuse loss and grief that open doors to sickness Holy Spirit Take us back to access painful memories this child of God carries. Calm as the comforter, bringing perspective and cleansing. Exchange pain for joy, mourning for gladness. Beloved, see the Lord's goodness in your affliction. He promised to use all things to work together for our good as we submit to his working. What the enemy meant for harm, God turns to holiness as we yield trials to him. 
our light afflictions now achieve eternal glory. This test will give tremendous testimony up ahead. Through this sickness and suffering, God develops perseverance, character and hope in you. You will shine as an overcomer, displaying his victory and faithfulness. The trials of many will be comforted through your journey. His strength is shown perfect through human weakness and need. Ask him for grace to rejoice in this divine process. I declare that nothing separates you from the love of Christ, not even pain and infirmity. According to Romans 8 verses 35 to 39, if he ordains for this thorn to remain, take heart, his power rests upon you. His strength is made perfect in weakness. Ask him for sufficient grace to carry out the cross and sufficient faith to believe still for healing. He is worthy of praise in it all. I decree that those who sow in tears will reap with shouts of joy. Though healing tarries, take heart, dear one. God collects every tear, filling his bottle of remembrance. None fall fruitless to the ground. He will turn weeping into gladness, sickness to health. On that day, none will be able to curse, for he makes all things new. I command every negative word, curse, lie or accusation sent your way to dissolve under the power of God's word and the healing blood of Jesus. Let no word of death take root in your body. Cast down thoughts that exalt themselves above the knowledge of Christ. Stand on his finished walk at the cross with patience and confidence, knowing that it will bring it to pass. I call forth a new habitation place for his spirit to dwell. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead comes to fortify your body as a temple of the living God. What was damaged or defiled is fully restored. Receive strength beyond your own to walk out this healing daily through his enabling grace. You are more than a conqueror through Christ. Beloved child of God, behold the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Set your gaze upon the one who heals. The spirit within brings life to your mortal body as a down payment of future glory. Allow his resurrection power to flow freely to every place needing restoration. You shall live and not die. Wellness is here. I declare that you are no longer under the curse of the law, but redeemed to receive Abraham's blessings. Christ has redeemed you from sickness, poverty, spiritual death, and the curse of sin that plagues this fallen world. Receive everlasting life and wholeness in the eternally secured inheritance of God's children. I decree deliverance from spirits of infirmity that empower sickness and disease according to Luke 13 verse 12. Receive freedom in mind and body now from all effects of trauma, substance abuse, and chronic conditions keeping you weighed down this many years. What Holy Spirit is reviving cannot be bound up again. I command all negative soul ties, feeding darkness to be severed now by the sword of the Spirit. Receive deep spiritual cleansing as the Holy Ghost fire burns through roots of iniquity passed down generationally. The sins, trauma, and twisted covenants of the fathers and mothers dissolve under the blood of Jesus. You are free. I call for spiritual biomarkers revealing the root causes of symptoms and conditions plaguing you. Holy Spirit, Unveil hidden sources feeding this affliction, whether trauma, generational causes, environmental toxins, or lifestyle choices keeping darkness empowered. Grant wisdom and strategies for walking in the grant, wis grant wisdom and strategies for walking in divine health. I declare that death and sickness have lost their sting since Christ conquered sin and the grave. Though this body may waste away, you have an eternal house prepared by God, not built by human hands. His resurrection life lifts you beyond mortal constraints of deterioration, sickness, and aging. I decree that those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength as eagles. As you wait on Him for healing and breakthrough, equip yourself through studying the healing covenants and promises of God. Retest testimonies of saints who persevered by faith and prayer to receive. Ask for fresh fire to stand through every hardship along the way. I command all lingering generational illnesses stemming from familiar spirits to be severed at the root now by God's healing word. 
causes of cancer, disorders, heart diseases, and early death be reversed and lifted by the blood of Jesus Christ. Step into generational blessings of longevity and divine health prepared for you. I call forth hunger in you for Christ, the true bread of life. As you feed deeply on his living word, revelation and intimacy grows with God. Receive fresh perspective, shifting focus from symptoms and limitations onto the healer himself. He sanctifies every struggle using trials to unveil more of his glorious nature. Rest in his abiding presence filling you now. Beloved, though flesh and heart fail, God remains the strength of your heart eternally. When faith or patience runs low, cry out to him for fresh oil to persevere. Worship the healer even from this pit. Allow his spirit to come forth and carry hope, restoring joy and vision bit by bit. He walks divinely through each season. When you yield all to him, I declare that those who honor God, they will honor. Humble yourself under his a mighty hand and in due time he will exalt you with wholeness healing and a new life take on the heart of a servant leaning to love compassion and kindness for others while standing for your healing this brings breakthrough upon breakthrough i decree that you will live and not die and declare the works of the lord as psalm 118 verse 17 declares even if he ordains more waiting know that god holds your life secure in his hands he remains intimately close as your soul's high tower let him hold your heart gently as you wait patiently on his perfect will. I command all delays, setbacks, and hindrances against healing to be removed now in Jesus' mighty name. Whether spirits of affliction, lack of resources, or revelation, I declare the way clear for divine turnaround. As you take steps forward, Lord, meet this child of God with demonstration of your power according to your word. Breakthrough is here now. I call forth lasting freedom from addiction and perversion, opening the door to recurring affliction. Receive merciful release from self-medication, ungodly relational bonds and practices defiling the temple of God's spirit. Trade shame and secrecy for healing as Christ's light permits hidden places of pain. Go and see no more, says the healer who makes all things new. I join you in praise to God, child of God. Rejoice, you are made completely whole. Receive strength in your bones and joy unspeakable shining through each day. Victory, health and favor surround you. Worship the Lord with all that is within you for he has delivered you from the pit and crowned you with loving kindness. Surely his goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. You are healed forevermore. Amen. Dear Father, we come in the name that is above every name, Jesus Christ, your Son, who conquered death more than 2,000 years ago, knowing that our prayers are already answered. I come against any assignment embarked upon or giving of premature death targeting your life right now in the name of Jesus I speak Psalm 118 verse 17 over your life that you will live and not die and declare the works and glory of the Lord in the land of the living as David confessed the snares of death encompassed him and torrents of destruction overwhelmed him but in distress he called on the lord who answered him and brought him into a spacious place i declare you shall not die but have a long life and see the goodness of the lord to the very end i also pray psalm 91 over you that you who live under the most high and almighty shadow god alone being your refuge and fortress will be delivered from the perilous pestilence and deadly plague a thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. No evil shall conquer you. No scourge shall overwhelm your tent. You shall witness the reward of the wicked and see God's salvation with your very eyes. Beloved child, I declare Isaiah 38 verse 5 over your life, which says, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will add 15 years to your life. Receive extension and increase over your days, just as Ezekiah did. When death came knocking prematurely, the Lord shall make the sun's shadow go back 10 steps on the stairway of Ahaz, 
you shall yet praise him with stringed instruments all the days of your life in the temple of the Lord. I call forth Psalm 118 confessing, I shall not die but live and recount the works and wondrous words of God. Death has no claim over you, only life and peace in the spirit. The sting of death is sin, and Christ has conquered both grave and sin, sealing your eternity with his own blood. I declare the preserving power of the blood covenant, ensuring, ensuring no weapon from the gates you prospers, and no plague destroys your dwelling. Beloved child, like Job, I stand in the gap and build a head of protection around you, your household, and all that pertains to you. I forbid any devil, disaster, or disease from crossing that bloodline to touching your body or life before ordained time. I dispatch angels to guard you in all your ways, bearing you up lest you dash your feet against a stone. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit spirit and camp as a wall of fire around you. I speak supernatural reversal and repel of any death sentence or premature end spoken over your life by intention or prophecy, whether by medical verdicts, word curse, spiritual divination or legal judgments. Like when Mordecai uncovered Haman's sinister plot to annihilate the Jews, I expose the operations of darkness and cancel their contracts. No weapon formed against you shall succeed, and you will nullify every tongue that rises against you in condemnation or cause. For you are a child of the Most High God, brought for a great and glorious purpose. I declare that Jesus came to give you life more abundantly, a rich and satisfying life, pouring out blessings into eternity. The Good Shepherd attends to you through death's darkest valley shadow, his rod and staff driving away all fear and despair. His table of feasts awaits in enemy's presence, his oil of joy refreshing your face. Only goodness and unfailing love pursue you always into his house forevermore. Precious child like Lazarus, even if sickness leads to death, God shall yet have the final word and resurrection power to restore life and earth. Whether by miracle, manifestation, or through ultimate heavenly healing, deliverance shall belong to you. God shall wipe away every tear and transform ashes back to beauty again. Beloved one, I stand in agreement with the psalmist's confession in 31 verse 15, my times are in your hand. Your days, weeks and years unfold under his sovereign design. Trust him to complete all he has started within you on this side of heaven. Then welcome you joyfully home when final breath draws near in appointed time. I speak Isaiah 65 verse 20 over your life that at 100 years you shall still bear fruit and prosper under lengthy days. Set your gaze beyond temporal troubles to the unseen eternal weight of glory prepared for you. Allow this magnificent magnificent hope to renew strength and anchor soul through storms. Nothing passes his sight. Love ever remains working all things for good for those who answer his upward call. I release resurrection life and power over areas of affliction and disease in the mighty name of Jesus. By his stripes you are healed. I forbid this sickness leading to any further foothold of infirmity or untimely death. I declare the preserving work of the great physician who heals all diseases upon you now. In Jesus' name, rise up healed, whole and restored. I paralyze the activity of any deceiving spirit impersonating diseased loved ones, appearing to draw your soul out of alignment with truth or lure you into occultic practices outside God's will. I break these deceptions of your life in Jesus' name. May your feet remain steadfast on the rock as you stay rooted in scripture and covenant with Christ alone as intermediary between heaven and those on earth awaiting his return. Beloved child of destiny, I declare the shield and armor of Psalm 5 verse 12 over your life. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as a shield. Set your gaze ahead on the joy set before you to finish your cause and ministry whole and strong. Allow no people, disease, disaster, or spirit of death rob remaining years of experiencing his goodness. Stay vigilant against bitterness as God writes brightest endings born of deep trust and surrender. 
Yours is the kingdom in all its fullness. Walk boldly into broad places, prepared to drink deeply. Beloved child of promise, I call forth divine turnarounds over medical diagnosis, declaring shortened life expectancy or disease progression leading to premature death. Receive grace, mercy, and wisdom for navigating uncharted waters ahead. May faith arise to walk on stormy seas through pain's mystery. Fix eyes on the healer's face. Nothing fails outside his redemptive plans. Where hopeless prognosis looms, God specializes in supernatural intervention, redirecting impossible outcomes. Jesus endured death, marching toward resurrection certainty. So shall you cross into greater glory through momentary light afflictions, preparing an incorruptible crown reserved for those discovering single eye vision, witness from above. Shake loose all that entangles feet from rolling tirelessly as one raised with Christ. Detach completely from outcomes here. Reattach heart posture onto full obedience. Receive fresh download of kingdom perspectives. I seal this prayer over you in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, the resurrection and the life by the power of his blood that has ransomed your life from destruction. I forbid any weapon formed against you to prosper now and all your days ahead. Search forward mightily into all your good father has prepared for you. The enemy will not prevail. You'll finish your race strong in the center of God's glorious unfolding story. In Jesus name we have prayed. I decree that your traps which they have laid will catch up with them instead in Jesus name. I declare over your life the promises of Psalm 37 that evildoers shall be cut off, but those who hope in the Lord shall inherit the land. I command every enemy that comes against you to stumble and fall, expire and be no more. Just as David prayed boldly in Psalm 57, asking the Almighty to break the teeth of liars and silence the tongue that speaks proud against you. I call forth the armies of heaven to guard you and protect you to lift you up and shield you completely under their wings. I decree that no snare will capture you, no sudden alarm will shake you, says the Lord in Proverbs 3 verses 25 to 26. For he who keeps you will not slumber, he who protects you will not sleep. I command every evil net and every negative word cause sent to entangle your destiny to be consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit now in Jesus' name. Just as the snares of the wicked could not prevail against blameless David, whose shield was the Lord God Most High, I declare that no Eden trap or malicious scheme will prosper against you in Jesus' name. For who can harm you when you follow what is good and do the Lord's will? And everyone who exalts themselves against you will be brought low by the power in the name of Jesus. For the salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord who protects them like a shield in time of trouble. I pray that the Lord shall protect you from every evil arrows in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that God will make your righteousness shine like the dawn and your justice like the noonday. Although the wicked secretly shoot their arrows against the blameless to slay them in the darkness, their bows will all be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every lying and devouring tongue targeting you to dry up from the roots and wither away. Just as Goliath's threats could not prevail against young David, who came in the name of the Lord God Almighty, I silence and cut off every voice that taunts and intimidates you by demonic threats or false accusations. I decree open disgrace and divine judgment upon all who magnify themselves against you and seek your ruin. I command every proud wave striking against you, Every contrary wind and stormy blast opposing your destiny to be rebuked and laid to rest by the great I am. Just as Jesus said, peace be still. Causing the winds and waves to obey his voice, I declare that all clamoring voices in the realm of the spirit resisting and raging against you shall bow in submission to the commands of the Most High God. For greater is he that is in you than anything in the world trying to destroy you. 
I speak over that henceforth, Psalm 118 works for you as you remain surrounded and fortified on all sides, that you may boldly declare, the Lord is for me, I will not fear. What can man do to me? I command all intimidating spirits, trying to elicit fear and anxiety to tremble and flee away from you now in Jesus' mighty name. As David overcame the lion, the bear and the giant through his great faith in the God who delivers, I release boldness into your spirit and command every inner voice of fear, doubt or intimidation assaulting your mind to be silent. As David encouraged himself in the wilderness, stirred himself up in God and recovered all that was taken, I call forth a tenacious spirit of faith to rise within you. One that pursues, overtakes and recovers all. I declare the steadfast love of the Lord upon you. His mercy and favor to preserve you. Though an army encamp around you, your heart will not fear. Though war rises against you, you will be confident in God. For even stone walls will collapse and weapons formed against you shall fail. No schemes arched in darkness shall succeed and every lying tongue condemning you will be shown to be in the wrong. Again, may the words and the spirit behind Psalm 118 fortify and protect you on all sides. Let those who come against you be put to shame, but may you never be put to shame. Let those plotting your downfall turn back in disgrace and emulation, but may you be uplifted and established upon the rock, Christ Jesus. I declare you are delivered forevermore from the snare of the fowler and deadly pestilence in accordance to Psalm 91. No plague of darkness or calamity of night shall overtake your dwelling. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder trample the young lion and serpent under your feet as david prayed in distress and anguish for god not to be far away i call for divine assistance and heavenly armies to surround and shield you now in jesus name i decree sudden angelic support and divine intervention into your affairs may god command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways as elisha prayed for his servant's eyes to be opened releasing god's greater spiritual forces to reveal themselves I call for lightning flashes of divine insight and spiritual vision to illuminate your path ahead, that you may walk wisely and avoid the snares of darkness seeking to entrap you in Jesus' name. I declare that those who rise against you will fall for your sake, says the Lord in Isaiah 54 verse 15. For who dares accuse you whom the Lord has chosen? I command all tongues speaking negative words for false testimonies or malicious lies against you to dry up immediately and receive a burning call of conviction to speak no more deceit. As Mordecai fought the wicked schemes of her man aimed at destroying the innocent, I declare that just as a man was hung on the very gallows built for Mordecai, your enemies and accusers will receive the due rewards for their wickedness, while you shall be uplifted and established on higher ground. For the one who digs a pit will himself fall into, and like Goliath, the one who comes to accuse and terrify you will himself be struck down by the very schemes and weapons aimed at you. As Jezebel's vile threats against Elijah were overturned and in his stead she was seized and trampled underfoot by divine judgment, I decree the same immediate intervention and vindication for you against every corrupt source seeking your downfall. Like a man, may all who pursue bloodshed against your innocent life be precisely targeted by divine justice and recompense. For the Lord loves justice and will not abandon his faithful ones. I release a prophetic decree over your life from the heavenly courts and seal it permanently by the blood of Jesus Christ and the mighty work of the cross. What God has spoken and proposed for your good cannot be reversed or overturned in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 118 stands as a divine shield and canopy of favor for all your coming and going out, surrounding you on all sides with grace and deliverance from all calamity and snares of darkness. May those who pursue and persecute you be ashamed and disgraced, but may you stand radiant with God's joy and vindication. Let deceivers and accusers bear their own shame while God's righteousness illuminates your life without apology. 
the Lord himself has become your salvation and sure defense. No one who condemns or contends with you shall prevail. For God is with you to deliver you, says the Lord. I seal this prayer over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let all God's angels heed this divine commission and surround you as a wall of fire and shield of faith on all sides. Greater is he who is in you than anything in all creation that strives against you. May the Lord bless and protect you always. He will send back every evil arrows aimed to kill you or your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree angelic shields and barriers secure around you night and day according to Psalm 34 verse 7 and chapter 91 verses 11 to 12. May these war angels prevent all satanic attacks interferences and retaliation according to verse 14 to 16 of Psalm 91. You shall thread upon the lion and adder all secret plans of the enemy are destroyed. The Holy Spirit leads you far from the schemes of evil, so no harm can befall you. Strong tower protects God's beloved. I command all satanic spirits guarded for assignments of chaos, destruction, accusation, affliction, deception, and death to be bound now, silenced and rendered impotent under Christ's authority. According to Revelation 12 verses 10 to 11, the Lord will strip dark spirits of weapons, armor, devices, and scrolls prepared against his people. He will escort them to show locked in chains now in the mighty name of Jesus. I call forth divine alertness, discernment, and perception to recognize diabolical setups and weaponized words intended to ensnare your identity and calling according to Psalms 62 verses 2 to 4 and 8. Ask God for insight into people like castrating attacks through cursing, jealousy, and hidden retaliation. Receive wisdom and strategy to terminate schemes at inception so they boomerang against the kingdom of darkness, increasing the influence of God through your life. Beloved saint, you are already clothed in Christ's righteousness as eternal security according to Isaiah 61 verse 10. No false accusation or character assassination prevails when you walk blameless and upright fearing God. Take heart if maligned for his name's sake. All snakes and scorpions turn impotent against true disciples of Jesus according to Luke 10 verse 19. His suffixes are engrafted in you. Righteousness and justice flow through your veins. You represent him now and forever. I decree supernatural reversal manifest against every satanic ambush and conspiracy set to hinder God's anointed according to Isaiah 54 verses 15 and 17. I pray that all sorcery backfires converting curses into blessing according to Genesis 12 verse 3 and Numbers 23 verse 23. Receive heavenly strategies, releasing recompense, vindication, restoration, and sevenfold justice against all adversary attacks. Divine turnaround belongs to you, beloved. Stand confident and assured victory comes. Through intimacy and surrender, we access resurrection power that renders enemies defenseless. Drink deep of the infallible spirit of counsel and might. Rise up in ferocious faith, tearing down strongholds and high things exalting themselves against the true knowledge of God. You shall do valiantly through Christ who strengthens you. I call forth warrior angels to ensure full execution of these prayer decrees now according to Psalm 103 verse 20 and I compel adversary spirits bound for show to obey in Jesus name. I pray that Abba Father will surround you with angel armies enforcing protection as decreed under divine counsel in heaven. May all counter-attacks, assignments, and weapons dissolve immediately against those hidden in Christ. The Lord will defend and shield you according to the word in Jesus' name. Your authority in prayer avails much through humility and surrender to Christ within you according to James 5 verse 16. Never underestimate the power in binding and losing all weapons of declaration wielded in partnership with the spirit of might. He responds with reinforcement as we cry out to him who is mighty to save. Be strong and courageous. Only stand still and see his victory. 
I decree a mighty wall of angelic protection fortified around you now so no satanic assaults penetrates according to Zechariah 2 verse 5. I pray Yahweh encamps legends as fiery wall and shield against enemy attack or retaliation. He will give his angels charge over all that pertains to you. Trust him to guard your life, family, reputation, health, finance, relationships, ministry, endeavors and emotional stability. In far greater measure than earthly military could provide, may fierce intimidation and accusations dissolve under weight of unfailing love that casts out all torment. Grace triumph over judgments for all Eden in the Most High. Hallelujah! I command spirits of worthlessness, rejection, depression, anger, deception, suicidal thoughts, sickness, confusion, and oppression to lose God's beloved now in Jesus' name. Name. Receive healing streams pouring life and boldness into weary souls according to Ezekiel 47 verses 1 to 12. Break all agreements made with death and false shelter offered through substance abuse, ungodly soul ties, sexual sin or escapism. Receive new wine skins to contain the new wine Holy Spirit pours. Set up stones of remembrance declaring your deliverance this day never to be imprisoned by former mindsets again. Recon yourselves dead to seed and alive to God in Jesus name. Arise and go free in the power and authority Christ purchased. I call forth vindication upon all adversaries who plot and scheme believing their counsel hidden according to Micah 2 verse 1, Psalm 83 verse 3 and Isaiah 29 verse 15. Reveal the hearts of those cursed, conjuring deception or seeking to entrap your child. May their attacks and hatred turn to favor instead, according to Genesis 50 verse 20. I release those operating under mind control now from ungodly soul ties and generational strongholds in Jesus' name. Receive through healing, deliverance, and restoration. I break deception's veil with kindness, truth, Calvary's true freedom not yet understood in Jesus' powerful name. Though darkness confronts, lift up your gaze higher, beloved. God meets those who endure the crucible of refinement and wait expectantly upon Him. He remains a sovereign, discerner of hearts and just judge over all intentions and motives in both earthly and heavenly realms. No accusation prospers before your Father and Redeemer. As you abide patiently under His mighty hand, allowing access to grace, enabling you to stand in goodness and integrity, He will defend and vindicate you in perfect time. No one can stop his destined will for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. You are already victorious and more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. I decree divine intervention to descend and unlock victory against long-standing generational causes of cancer, sickness, incest, early death, addiction, barrenness, poverty, and lack in Jesus' name. I command DNA restored to wholeness through generational lines. Receive fresh fire flowing in your bloodline, awakening and restoring all crooked places from iniquity of forefathers. May your children, grandchildren and extended family receive breakthroughs extending for generations to come. Freedom's fire will be released now according to Galatians 5 verse 1. Inherit blessing prepared for you. I command all legal rights, footholds and access gained through seeing or obedience that keep enemy accusation and attack empowered to now close forever be erased by the blood of jesus receive deep deliverance from defilement deception and corruption according to colossians 1 verse 13 i call forth mighty breakthrough and eternal reward upon your years of unnamed toil and suffering according to psalm 126 and galatians 6 verse 9 and hebrews 12 1 to 3 May generational oppression, lack, sickness, and fruitlessness now dissolve suddenly under an open heaven. Receive acceleration, restoration, and recompense, meeting you at every turn. Whereas you have been forgotten, forsaken, and devalued in your past seasons, now royalty and honor mark your every step through double portion inheritance and overcoming anointing activated this day. Your progress unlocks destinies for multitudes. 
Emmanuel, God is indeed with you. Friend, no longer will you cower under threats of enemy or wince at words of past aggressors. Fear is demolished from your bloodline as lion uttered courage in Christ fuels your every step. With integrity, purpose, and passion arise to call forth life from death and freedom to captive ones still bound. Take your place as kingdom ambassador seated firmly in Christ's authority and worth. We worship and exalt you, Lord, for answering all these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen.